Hello everybody, my name is Light. Um, welcome you to another session. Uh, today we'll be talking about we'll be praying for Donald Trump, our new president of America. We're so excited God got him there and we have to support him through prayers, pray for him, um, join hands, like in, do a lot of intercessions for him and all that. So I'll be post putting a blog, uh, I mean a uh, video and the link of the blog for the post. Um, before we pray, if you haven't given your life to Christ, you cannot join this prayer. There's no way God doesn't answer the prayers of a sinner. Accept or accept Christ into your life. And you can join me real quick. Just say this few words with me and pray. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Come and change me. Come and purify me. Come and make me whole. Come and make me a better person. Lord Jesus, come into my heart and make me a better you person for you help me f fight for my righteousness and help me share the joy i found in you in jesus name I accept you as my lord and my savior in jesus name amen so welcome welcome to the family so real quick we're talking about praying for donald trump um before we go into that let me just uh do a, just a quick worship great are you lord it's your breath in our lungs, so we pour out our praise, pour out our praise, it's your breath in our lungs, so we pour out our praise to you only you. Amen. So Father, as we go into your word, speak to us, teach us, let us understand, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. So we're going from First Timothy chapter 2, verse 1 to 3, it says, I exalt Therefore, that first of all, supplication, prayers, intercessions, and giving of things be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority. So there is no exception to the rule. God does not say pray for other people except that person. God says pray for everyone in authority, and Trump is taking authority, and we have to pray for him. So it says pray for kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. So we should pray so that we can all live in peace and godliness and God will give him wisdom and the understanding to do everything. So from what I've heard, there's going to be a lot of retaliation, I mean, retali a lot of retaliation against this regime. A lot of retaliation as this regime is rising. God has him there for a purpose. Let's pray that God will guide him and give him the grace to do this will. Like, Lord, we commit Donald Trump into your hands. That you, we pray for your goodness and your mercy upon his life. That you give him the grace to do your will in Jesus' name. In everything, give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. First Thessalonians 5, verse 18. Um, in my if you check the blog post post below in the previous post i prayed about elections and even in the video too i prayed about i posted a video about the elections now let's thank god for peace um, peace during the elections there was no war there was no like crisis everything went smooth and nice although there was a little bit of chaos here and there but god picked the person he wanted and we are going to support god's choice for america donald trump so Lord, thank you for a successful election, that there was no riot, no killings, and many more. Lord, we say thank you. We thank you for all what you have done. Lord, help Donald Trump to do your will with all his heart in Jesus' name. Lord, guide Donald Trump to do your will with all his heart, and he will support you. He will be there for you. He will do what that is right, what you want him to do. He will lead America. He will make America great again. You bless him with the goodness and your mercy, and your spirit will dwell in him to make America great again. All the laws that he has to put in place, Father, give him the grace to do it all the people that needs to support him father give him the grace all the things that need to happen let everything work together for his good in jesus name lord help him help settle all unrest that want to rise up as donald trump becomes president there's a lot of unrest people making threats empty threats and all that that father you put them down and your grace and your mercy was with donald trump that no more every evil that wants to stand against him is destroyed in jesus name that he would do your will he would make america great again he will lead america and the world to a great great stage a better level in jesus name lord give all those that will work 
with Trump, the spirit of unity to help the new legislation work out excellently well in Jesus' name. Now, Father, Lord God, give all those that will work with Trump the unity, the governors, the mayors, other presidents around the world, and things like that. Father, God, even with heaven, let everything be in unity, in one peace, so Lord, that he will not die. Your peace will be upon him. Every evil that every person, every evil that wants to assassinate him is destroyed in Jesus' name. We cover Trump with the blood of of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, and it is well with him in Jesus' name. Lord, give Trump the ability to be diplomatic and work peaceably with everyone, especially other nations. Father, give Trump the ability to work peaceably with everyone, with other nations around the world, with people in the country, that everything will go on nicely. Give him the peace and the ability to be diplomatic. Lord, let Christianity grow ever stronger during Trump's regime. That Christianity be spread like wildfire across the America. Oh Lord, that everyone will be a Christian. That Christianity will gain strongholds. That every demonic evil, everything that has gained the land of America is destroyed in Jesus' name. Now, Father, you use Trump for your purpose, for your glory in Jesus' name. Lord, thank you for answer prayers. Thank you for all what you have done. We bless your name. We are grateful, O oh Lord, we are grateful, O oh Lord, for all you have done for us. We are grateful, O oh Lord. And now we say thank you, um, you, thank you for all what you have done. So do you want to turn around in the events of your life? You want to be a better person at what you do, being a better Christian? There's a link below that you can click and join in in prayer and pray and get a bible get a bible join the bible believing church get uh spend more time with god i tell people invest in headphones and speakers and play good worship songs like when you're having a bad day or you can't just figure out how life is worship songs take you from where you are to where you need to be understanding how big and wonderful god is and how it's going to take care of you and god bless you scripture says draw near to god and i'm drawing near to you Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. James 4 verse 8. So join in. Get in contact with Jesus. God loves you. Subscribe for more videos. You want to reach out to me. I have so many outreach uh, links, social media links, Twitter, Instagram, or email, or stuff like that. Or just comment below. Love you. See you guys. And let's keep praying for Donald Trump and the new legislation. Amen. Who did it? You say, Jesus. Oh, my God. Wow.